Hi everyone, hope you're all doing great. In this video, I want to show you how you can send customized emails to your audience. So whenever uh, someone submits your form, you can receive a customized email with customized content in it. And also your audience can receive a customized email uh, that uh, you've set up. So let's see how it works. So here I have my dashboard and here by clicking on your profile icon, you can go to the email templates and uh, build your email templates there. Uh, at first it's disabled, you can enable it and create your templates by clicking on this. And uh, here you can name it, whatever you want, and then you can choose which, uh, um, which email you want it to send from, for example, info at wrongo.com or info at formal.com or your brand name.com. And you can also change the reply to email. So whenever they reply to that email, uh, they can, uh, the two uh, box will be filled with this email address. And also you can customize this uh, subject of the email. You can use the values inside the form uh, and uh, put it here. For example, if, you're, if you want to add your audience name inside the subject, you can uh, add it here. For example, uh, the first field is full name and you want to add it there. So you can say field one value, which is the value of the first field, uh, for example, if it's a, an email address. And uh, you uh, also you can use it inside the body of your email. Uh, for example, here, instead of this, you can say Rango team. And also uh, this um, variable shows that shows that the whole table of results. You can uh, remove it and add your custom table. And uh, for example, here you will show the um, title of the first field, for example, if it's first name, um, it will show first name. If it's email, it will show that. And the value that uh, the audience enters into the form will be shown uh, as the value here. And also you can uh, put other fields. For example, if you have a hidden field that you want to be shown in your in table, you can just not put it here. Yeah, it's simple. So you say field one title, field uh, one value, field two title, and field two uh, value. And for example, if your first field is full name and you want to um, start your email with hi full name, hi Noosh, for example, you can put um, your variable in these brackets. And here I'll say field one value. So let me show you an example. This is my form, just, just a test form and I edit it. And here I have name, email, and uh, some different fields. And in the notification tab, I can enable the send submitted data to submitter. And before this, make sure that your, your formal loop has an email field, because if it doesn't, uh, it doesn't know uh, what email to send it to. And you can't uh, enable this uh, because uh, we, we need to collect the email of the submitter first. So when, whenever you have an email field, it means you're collecting their email. So uh, here you can add, uh, enable this one and uh, also, you can uh, choose from the templates which template to be sent to that to, to that submitter. Uh, for example, I choose um, this template, and it it will be sent to the submitter after they submit the form. And uh, also, you can customize uh, the email sent to you and your team. Uh, you can just choose it here, and also you can forward it to different emails. And uh, back to the e uh, custom email template. Here I have a field one value. So if you view the form loop, you will see that field one title, field one value that will be inserted here and field two uh, uh, title and field two value that will be submitted here. So um, I'll say field one high, field one value, which means field one news, um, it means high news. So it will be replaced instead of these and uh, whatever variable you want to choose, you can uh, choose from, there is an article here. I'll also put it at the description of this video. Uh, you will see here that there is uh, an article that shows you all the variables you can use on this custom email. Yeah, it's perfect. So 
you can use different values. Also, you can use the currency, the um, form title, form description. You can uh, use different variables. Also, the calculations that are uh, calculated. Yeah, you can use all of them in your uh, custom email and it's perfect. And also, you can choose to send from which server. If you leave it empty, it will be sent from system default, which is Formaloo's SMTP server. But you can use your own SMTP server and you can create an SMTP server here and use it right here. So uh, this is how it works. And here is a comparison of uh, this, the, the differences of formal server and your own server. And uh, after you've read this and you've created your template, you can save it and it will be added to your list and you can add it to your uh, formal. So uh, you can send different emails for each of your formal. And for example, one formal uh, might need different contents to be sent uh, than another formal. So it can be done easily using the notification tab of your Formalu Builder. And it's a perfect tool for customizing the notifs uh, that are sent to your team and also your audience. So yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe uh, to our channel and let me know if you had any questions and bye.